Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology. Check our website at raywaldo.com. The exact address for this video will be in the description of the video below. Uh, we're, today we're looking at the Chromebook from Google. Right now, this particular Acer version, version of the Chromebook is available for $199. Very, very uh, good price uh, via the Google Play Store. So uh, today we're looking at, of course, we're looking at the online version there. The, uh, the device boots quickly, uh, about 25 seconds I think it is, and uh, it runs really nice. It has a, an Intel uh, dual processor and uh, running at 1.1 gigahertz, I believe. Or gig yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's got two gigabytes of memory, I believe is what I remember writing, reading. And um, it is really a fine little machine. Uh, the worst thing about it, the keyboard is a little bit small, but it still feels better than uh, the online keyboards of, of uh, tablets and like that. Uh, someone might say, well, why would you get this instead of a tablet? Well, the keyboard is the main reason why it is better instead of the touch on, I wish it had touch. You know, touch is really the, the on, uh, oncoming thing and everything is going to touch. But the keyboard is still very, very nice. So uh, it's, a, it's a cool thing to have a real keyboard. And um, everything about it is really kind of nice except this little... <laughs> Uh, keep a uh, little uh, whatever you call these things. I hate these things on all com uh, all computers. They just don't work very well. But what's neat is that you can plug in a USB uh, 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 mouse, such as this little wireless mouse. Just plug it into one of the USB ports, and immediately you have a uh, mouse connection, uh, and you can do something really kind of nice with that. Okay, now that works really well. Okay, so. Uh, we can scroll with the scroll bar and all those things that we normally would do. So, what is good about this? Well, it has uh, anything that you would need to do via uh, the web. But if you want to work beyond the web, it's not so great. Uh, what's, what, what it does is give you a, uh, a full-fledged Chrome browser. So whatever you can do with the Chrome browser, you can do with this machine. And it boots up in 20 seconds, and it's ready to go, and it keeps uh, about three and a half hours of battery life, and it does a really good job at, at online stuff. All that is pretty cool, but it isn't so great. And for $200, it's, you know, that, that's questionable whether it's probably worth it or not. What is neat is that you can, uh, you can use... Uh, once you install it, you can use a little control alt and uh, dash forward uh, keyboard selection, and you can uh, tell it to reboot. <laughs> now, this all has to be uh, configured. You have to do this, and I have instructions on my website on how to do this. But once you do, then you can tell it to uh, go to another partition on your, uh, your computer, which I've already done. Now we go back and we reboot. We go down here to the reboot and uh, tell it to turn off. It will turn off and then when uh, we reboot or turn it back on, there's the power button, uh, control D will speed this up. There's a, a interruption here for this, but speed, control D. Uh, and this is what's really cool. This makes the thing an extraordinary deal. Watch what's coming up in just a moment here. Now, I'm not sure about this. I may have to look on that arrow, but uh, right now. Is that cool or what? This is Ubuntu 12.0. Now, it's not the newest version, but it's, it's uh, one of the newer versions. Now, I'm going to turn it off because I'm going to type my password in here. Uh, hope I get it right. <laughs> I missed. Okay. 
Okay, now we're back on. And uh, so it's going to load up a full version of Ubuntu. This is, this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, for $200, you get a full version Ubuntu machine. Now it's not 100% you know, it's not 100%. It's, it's lacking a little bit, but not much. There's uh, just about anything you want to do, you can do with it. Now, the Chromebook comes with 300 and, I think it's a 320 or 360 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, and uh, so that's, uh, that's a large hard drive, extremely large when you're doing everything on the web like you do on the Chrome. Uh, you can do a few things offline with Chromebook, but mostly you're working offline. That's what it's designed for. I mean, online. Uh, it's designed for on online work. So your 360 megs or gigs is a tremendous amount of uh, web space uh, or, or uh, disk space. And so what I've done when I configured this, I gave Ubuntu 200 gigs and 100 gigs to uh, the Chromebook. And so 200 gigs uh, is a lot of storage. Now I can work offline with Ubuntu. I can do anything with Ubuntu. I mean, it has a full-fledged a word processor and uh, uh, graphics programs and it just almost anything you want to want to have. So this is a really cool thing. Now the little uh, 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 screenlets program was something I've added. I've added uh, a few other things on here, but it does work and it works really well and it works really fast. Now look at this. There's the browser. And uh, my website is not the fastest one to come up in the world, but four seconds and it's there. Uh, likewise, Google is there. I mean, everything is just there. It works really well, and it works really fast. To add another uh, site, if you want to go to Facebook, okay, well, there's Facebook. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, you know, whatever you want to try, it's there. I mean, it's just there. It's really fast. I am amazed. This is actually faster than my HP uh laptop, I have a DD6, and this is faster than the DD6 is in real operation. I can't imagine why, but it is. So uh, I have Linux on both, Ubuntu on both of them, and, and this is faster than the other. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what you can do. Check my website, raywaldo.com, for instructions on how to install Ubuntu on a $200 uh, Chromebook laptop. This is an extremely good deal. I highly recommend it. $200 Linux machine and you can use it as the uh, Chromebook. You can switch between the two. Now the difficulty is that it is a little bit weird to switch between the two but I'm using all the Ubuntu. I hardly ever go to Chrome anymore so that's not an issue for me. Okay well RedBoldOver.com for any comments. Do not leave comments here on YouTube. Tube, I don't hardly ever check it, so I won't get much you won't get much response. Okay, bye bye.